หุยเฮลโหลทุกคนนี่คือ Insane J and today we are on the Happy Diggers AMP server and I'm joined by s f u r f Hello and by m a p i a Hello and today we are going to build a big reactor because we need lots and lots of energy and the setup we have over here with the Stirling engines just isn't cutting it anymore. Uh, since the last video, we've uh, made some changes, expanded some stuff, built new things. So I'm going to show you guys what we've been up to real quick. So as you may have noticed, we've added more Stirling generators and more capacitor banks. Uh, Service also uh, set up the GregTech steam engines and the GregTech and IC2 machines. I don't know. I'm not sure which is which, but anyway, those. That's where you have tooltips tool for, tips, right? Tooltips, yep. Gregtech, Gregtech, Gregtech. It's all Gregtech. So s w e r v e has been busy with Gregtech. Ooh, there's ah the cable. IC the cable two. is IC2. <laughs> yeah, this machine as well. This machine as well. Oh yeah. So cool. So there's an IC2 machine in there somewhere. <laughs> And right now everything is being powered from uh, the Stirling generators. If you go below, you can see the cable running, and goes into an RF consumer, an NG bridge, and an MV producer. And on the other side, there is a steam producer attached to the network, and the cable also runs to this corner over here, uh, where I started some thermal expansion machines. So I'll go over these real quick. Uh, over here, well. Not very interesting. Just some induction smelters and a crusher. But over here is something that I think is uh, interesting to see. It's uh, fluid transposers and magma crucibles. Uh, I've got four pair. So yeah, four pair right now. And each pair is dedicated to one recipe. So for example, the pair on the right is dedicated to ender pearls and buckets. And that will make um, a bucket filled with the green goo. Not sure what it's called exactly. And I made this using an ME interface, which holds the recipes. It's called the resonant ender bucket with four ender pearls and one bucket. So the ME system will dump it in the chest, and then this uh, impulse item conduit will take those items, and they are whitelisted, and send them down. Pipe network, and only these item conduits are whitelisted or have the items whitelisted. So you can uh, never mix up items between machines. So if you uh, make one of those um, redstone energy conduits, the redstone will not go into the machine that is supposed to get the ender pearls. So that's really nice. And also one thing I'd like to show you guys, which I think is great. Is the sealable ME cable? Basically, it's a, a block in the ground, and it's an ME cable in a block, so we don't have holes in the ground. So, it makes it look nice. So yeah, that's uh, a little bit uh, about what we've been up to. Um, Mipia has also been doing a lot of formcraft stuff. Hi. Hello. And well, she has a bunch of jars. You can yeah, I haven't quite figured this bit out yet. And it makes makes weird sounds if you poke the glass. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what well. this is. And an infernal furnace, the bellows she can use to uh, process her ores. Yep. Well, basically, it's the same as an oven, but it gives you some uh, some bonus at from time to time. So. And that looks. Uh, and and that's a hungry chest, and it eats everything up that comes out of it. <laughs> well, it's uh, basically it automatically uh, uh, catches whatever is coming, uh, touches it when you throw something at it. Okay. Like any any object, like like so. Mm, mam, mam. Mam, 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 mam. <laughs> nice. Cool. Okay. Cool, huh? Let's get building. I'm going to build a big reactor today. 
and I'm going to build it inside of our basement. Um, we already uh, made room for the cable, so this is an ME cable. It looks a bit awkward, but that's because we've reserved space for more cables to go down here. I don't know if we are going to uh, have more cables, but if we do, then there's space. So right now I'm in the basement, uh, the part where we have the, the big machines, and there is Verve. Hi, Verve. Hello. And the first thing we want to power is this industrial grinder because we have a lot of ores. Let's see our. This is what we have on ores, and it needs to be processed. And the best way to do that is in the industrial grinder. So we need to power the industrial grinder, and for this, I'm going to build a big reactor. I've already programmed all the stuff in our ME system. And oh, why not show? big there we go um, so a big reactor is basically a giant cube uh, with fuel rods inside of it and uh, well fuel rods require fuel of course in this case that's yellow right uh, which you can just uh, find uh, in the ground in the mining dimension, in the overworld, everywhere. And you dig it up um, as an ore, and then you can process it, and it will turn into yellowite dust, which you can use to uh, craft a few things. And in our case, you just feed this machine yellowite ingots, so that's pretty easy to manage. And as you can see, I'm making this big reactor 9x9. Nine so that's a pretty well uh, big reactor, pun. Uh, but the size determines how much energy it can produce. So in this case, bigger is better. And you can make these fairly large. I think you can uh, make these 64 by 64 even. But uh, at some point, uh, you'll s start to see diminishing returns. So it doesn't make sense to have it. Uh, that large, uh, but I've been told that a nine by nine reactor is uh, is a good size for a big reactor, and it's something we can fit inside of our basement, so that's good. Okay, so basically what you do is you take these reactor casings and you make a frame, like uh, well what I'm doing right now, and. You can also um, fill up the, the big areas with the reactor casing, uh, like I did on the floor. Or you can use this uh, reactor glass, which is uh, see-through, so you can see what's uh, going on on the inside. <laughs> Okay guys, that's it for now. Um, the next thing we need to do is put in the fuel rods. And I don't have those with me. Let's see if we have those in the ME system. I do hope we do. Yep, there they are. 53, that's not enough. And I wanted to do 9, so I thought I needed 54. Why is the recipe not in the ME system anymore? Ah, there we go. So, one more please. I will just let that finish. So I'm going to do 9 fuel rods, so 1, 2, 3. And the reason for this is that uh, the big reactor uh, will produce heat and it needs heat to produce energy uh, but if it's uh, if it becomes too hot then it will uh, well basically you will get uh, an efficiency penalty so you don't want your reactor to become too hot now each uh, fuel rod transfers heat into its uh, environment. So if you stack these fuel rods together, they would become very hot and 
you would have an inefficient big reactor. So that's not what we want. So what we're going to do is uh, I stack them like this. So they have uh, one block on each side, uh, which they can use to dissipate their heat. Uh, is this large enough? You know, I think I could have made the reactor one block higher even. Let's see if the fuel rod is ready. I think I should probably do that. It's not ready. Okay. So I'm going to cut it here and I'll be right back and I'll make it one block higher. So I made the reactor one block higher. As you can see, it's, uh, it is a big reactor. So what I need to do now is put um, these reactor control rods on each fuel rod. And these rods allow you to control how much, um, basically how hard the reactor is working. So if you set it to 100% it will uh, work as hard as it can, but it's less efficient. So it will burn more fuel, produce more energy, uh, but it will uh, use more fuel per amount of produced energy, if that makes sense to you. Now there's one thing these reactors also need is a reactor controller. And let's see what's a good spot for this. Yeah, I'll put this on the right side. And there are some other things this needs. So one is a reactor access port. And another. And in between I'll do a reactor power tap. Now this reactor access port, as you can see it has arrows pointing inward. And I can change this and this one has arrows output outward. So basically input is for fuel, output is for uh, the waste product, which can then be recycled into more fuel for big reactors. So that's really nice. So now we have a uh, casing and fuel rods. And what I need to do now is add uh, cooling to this big reactor. As I said before, these fuel rods need to be cooled. And there are several ways to do this. You can just add water in the machine. Or um, you can use uh, vanilla metals, so iron and gold. You can also use diamond. And you can use the liquids from thermal expansion, which is what we are going to do. I showed you guys that uh, from expansion setup which produces the endorium buckets. Well, I'm going to use those. It started raining outside. I hope it's not too loud. Just to be safe I'll turn down the sound a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to need a bunch of those uh, buckets. Now we already have 16 and I think we need 24, 25, I don't know exactly. We need a bunch. So I'm getting those. It's not as easy as it looks. And then I'm going to order a bunch more. Um, I've got too much stuff on me. There we go. Okay, so let's make, uh, I don't know, 10 more. And if all goes well, the ME system should be putting items in here, unless it's waiting for something. Uh, it's waiting for ender pearls. So I'm hoping Mup you have some for me. Um, maybe some. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where we are at at the moment. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to fill this reactor and it doesn't have to be filled with source blocks. Flowing liquid is fine. So each side of each reactor control rod, um, well, the block below it anyway, from the fuel rod, is getting a source block. So it's going to be like this. And then here. And of course, I know it's going to flow out of the the reactor at one point, but that doesn't matter. So 
So each fuel rod is getting one side with liquid, like this. So I'm going to speed it up a little. Okay guys, as you may have noticed, I teleported around a bit. Uh, word of advice, don't touch this stuff too much because it will teleport you at random someplace else. And as you can see, I just ended up underground and that is a bad thing. Anyway, um, we don't have enough uh, enderpearls yet to finish this, but the Happy Diggers Amp mod pack also has Ender Forest. It's a mod from Reika, who also made uh, Rotary Craft and Reactor Craft. And here you can see those these purple areas. Those are Ender Forests. Yep, Ender Forest. And they have pools of this resonant ender which you can just uh, well collect so just take a bucket and grab as much as you need it's free generates in the world all over the place so that makes it a little bit easier to collect uh, the stuff we need so teleporting to spawn um, as you can see we are using essentials on the server um, during well, the, the making of this mod pack. Uh, I wanted to be sure that this uh, mod pack is compatible with MCPC Plus because, uh, in my opinion, it's the only way to run properly run uh, a public server or any kind of server for that matter. And well, it works. So you can just use bucket plugins on the server, which is really convenient. You can uh, use permissions. You can use uh, spawn points, war points, uh, NPCs, shops, you name it, it's all available. So that's really nice. Okay, that's the ender. Well, one more block over here. I think that's all of them. Yep. So now all we have to do is seal it up. Somehow. I'm just going to uh, put more blocks at the bottom, so it looks a bit uh, more of the same. Oh, don't touch the liquid ender, it keeps teleporting me around. It, this is the best coolant, but it's a bit of a pain to <laughs> get it up and running like this. So if you uh, build a reactor like this, um, it's probably better to make sure <laughs> 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 you can exit this from the top because this uh, 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 that's hilarious okay we're almost done one more block to go come on no don't teleport me don't 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 ah okay there we go got it now wait for the ender to drain out and we can seal it up yes Who's a good reactor? And now when I place this last block, the reactor should change uh, its texture. So now they're all blocks and boom, there we go. We've got one big reactor. So now all we have to do is hook it up. And I need some. Need a few of these. Two. Um, so I'm just taking these blocks out of the floor. I'm putting the sealable ME blocks in, and this will get an export bus. This will get an import bus. Connect, connect, and the reactor power tab will get. Maybe he's laughing at me. No, 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 I'm laughing at something else. Oh. There's a mistake in the in the phenomenon. The phenomenon. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Now in this block we can seal with uh, a painter block. I don't know if we have painter blocks. Do we have them in storage? Painting machine, conduit facade. Yeah, we do. Paint it with nothing. So I can do that right now. Show you some more of the stuff. This this is uh, the coolest part of our mod pack. We have so much stuff. So basically this is a painter machine. You put the block you want on the left and then a facade on the right. And then it will process. And you get a condom conduit facade block. Now watch this. This is awesome. So conduit in the floor leaving a ugly hole. But boop. Now it looks just like the floor. Isn't that amazing? I think it's awesome. Okay, so that's wiring. I think it looks uh, well. Looks nice like this. And all we need to do is hook up the ME cables like so. And I'm going to extend the power cord all the way over here. So that means speeding it up again. <laughs> Okay guys, so I got the cord all the way over here, the conduits. Now over here, this is the, the underside of our grinder. As you can see we have these NRIO reservoirs. They pump up water and we have a copper cable going uh, all the way around. So we can connect four grinder heads. Right now we only have one, which is connected already with a CESU. C -E -S -U. And under the floor, what I'm going to do is connect the MV producer to this cable and then an energy bridge and an RF consumer, which the conduit will connect to. So basically if we power the big reactor now, this should be getting energy. And the wires only connect to these blocks, so that's really nice, I think. Now these reactors require yellow right ore as fuel. So what I'm going to do is set this precision export bus to move single items or craft. Put this back in and Let's see, yeah, it has a bit of fuel. Now this fuel, uh, right now it says 100% enriched. Uh, if the system becomes full with uh, waste product, that percentage will go down and the efficiency will also go down. So that is the reason why you need to uh, take out the waste product. Uh, is it doing anything? No. Why isn't it working? Uh, do we need to turn it on somewhere? Activate. There we go. Waste is set to auto eject. And right now it's doing 1100 RF. Reactor heat is increasing and uh, as it increases it should start producing more power, so we'll let it run for now. Over here the reactor, or sorry, the grinder should be getting power. Yes, it's getting power. It's awesome, it's actually working. <laughs> ah, that's really nice. So if we take some ores, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? Let's do some... Uh, Certus Quartz. The Certus Quartz should turn into uh, the crystals, right? Mm -hmm. Two crystals and Certus Quartz the dust. Okay, which is what we need badly. And then... Yep, it's working! <laughs> nice. So the next step will be to make sure this grinder will get uh, ores fed into it automatically. But that's something for another time. I think the episode is long enough for now. 
So over here we have the big reactor. It's still powering up. Okay, it looks like it sort of sort of balancing out. No, still increasing heat. It's producing almost 2000 RF right now. It's still increasing. And I think if you divide by 10, that's the amount of MJ you're getting for those used to build craft joules. And if you multiply that by two and a half, you get EU per tick. So right now it's doing uh, well, almost 500 EU per tick. And as you can see, the energy buffer is uh, slowly filling up. So what we need to do is uh, build in a RedNet port so we can automatically shut down the reactor uh, once the buffer is full because if it's full it will just keep on burning fuel but not producing extra energy so basically you're wasting fuel at that point so that's something um, well we still have to do but this is the, the, the big reactor as you can see it's very easy to build it's relatively easy to maintain and the yellow right ore well you can find it everywhere it's very abundant in this mod pack so this is an easy way to get uh, a lot of fuel pretty early, uh, a lot of energy pretty early in the game. So um, that's it for now for this episode. Thank, Thank you guys, guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>